Hi everyone, I just want to record an issue I had with my Robin M1. Uh, it was an issue with it did not charge. So uh, uh, maybe it could be helpful, helpful to others also. So the error, the issues I saw the, was that when I applied the uh, loading cable to charge it, nothing happened. It, it did not became red. Or and nothing happens on this, on the board here or anything. Or when I started the battery, it was um, uh, just going with, on the error. It was just trying to start up, boot up, and then error came. So uh, and then I removed the battery, and I noticed the voltage was uh, like 21 volt. So what I did next was to remove the battery, according to the pictures you will see here. And then start to investigate the uh, the battery to see if, if it was faulty or there was if there were any problems. So uh, take a look at the picture and you will find out what I did. There are also one more thing you can try before opening the battery as I did. With the screws and so, on. and that's to apply this charging volt on the on the mid pin. Uh, you see, there's a plus and minus, and then you have the mid pin, and that's the charging voltage for the 50, 54 volt. So, also please apply from this one, uh, one and two. Uh, check the polarity, of course, and then apply it on the directly on the battery. I think that also will work if you have a poor voltage like uh, 20 volts, as I did, 20, 21 volts or something, uh, before opening. Uh, that could be one tip that could be good to use before opening, opening the battery. Okay. So before you continue to do anything, uh, uh, make sure to know what you're doing because you are probably, probably voiding the guarantee on this uh, battery because you are unscrewing screws that are sealed with some kind of plastic uh, so uh, uh, make sure you know what what you're doing so to be able to remove the battery remove this plate and then you have a couple of screws there you are, a couple of screws and then you lift this up one up and then you get here and then you remove one two three four five six screws and after that you can just lift up the battery and then you will be like it will be like this and then you will have to open the battery for to debug the battery or just to check if it's broken or not uh, you can remove this screw this screw this screw and this one and then also remove the gasket here and then just uh, just a simple tool to like this, just bend it open, and then it will come apart <coughs> like this. So to check a battery in a simple way, you can uh, first check you have the same voltage on these sides because there's some kind of. Uh, uh, fuse here, tilt fuse or whatever, and then you can start measuring each uh, these test points from zero volt to uh, battery volt. So you can test each each uh, cell to verify that they are around. But, uh, this is fully loaded or partly or, or almost fully, 3.7 to 3.8 volt, and that seems to be correct. Okay. So after I did some charging uh, separately with the battery, uh, it now seems much be much better and it's almost full this battery. But if I now plug this one in, it starts up at normal, and the loading procedure continues here as it should on this machine. 
Okay, so let's see if it's if it is working now. Seems to be okay.